Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, congratulations going out to Tom Thibodeau, coach of the Chicago Bulls. Is it Thibs or Tibbs? It, it's I'm it's, from what it, I'm hearing. It's Thibs. It, no, I thought it was Tibbs. I thought it was Tibbs, but it's Thibs. It's Thib. I, no, it's, it's Tibbs. It's Thibs. 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 Hey Thibs. Hey Thibs. No, I'm sorry. What? No, no. See, okay. Nah. See how we go. See how yeah. things go. That's why I'm gonna stick to Tibbs. Tibbs. Because <laughs> I don't even want to be with Thibs. No, we no, don't want to do not. that. You don't want to be with a list. <laughs> so, Coach uh, Tom Thibodeau won Coach of the Year. Congratulations. Deserving it. Uh, first year, 162 games, which uh, tied Paul Westphal for most uh, in your first year. Hey, where's coach. he at now? Uh, Sacramento. Sacramento. Right? Where'd he... Sacramento. Yeah, he fell off quick. But then he came back. He, then he came back. But here's the thing. What you got for me? This is the reason why I do not want... Derrick Rose. This is the reason why I do not want Derrick Rose to win the MVP. He deserves the MVP. Most definitely. But take a look at this list. This is the last six MVP Coach of the Year combos. Same year, same team. There's only one person or one, only one couple on that team on that list. Tim Duncan and Greg Popovich where something didn't go wrong within like the two years of, of them winning that that honor. Magic Johnson, Pat Riley, 89-90. We all know what happened. Magic got the HIV virus. Mm -hmm. Not AIDS. HIV virus. Virus. Okay. Out of the league. Michael Jordan, Phil Jackson. We had a lockout within two years, and a team broke up. Allen Iverson, Larry Brown. Enough said. <laughs> well, that was a down year for the NBA. <laughs> you really can't. But, I mean, they had Dikembe Mutombo won Defense Player of the Year, and McKee won Sixth Man of the Year. Like, that whole team was just award winners. Uh, Steve Nash, Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni, didn't he get let go two years after that? You had to. That, that team had peaked. And then LeBron James, Mike Brown. LeBron James took his talents down to South Beach. Mike Brown got fired. Well, that's not necessarily. See, I, Mike Brown wasn't the coach of the year. He, you just had the most talented player. But. Tom, but it helped. But Tom Thibodeau has the best player. But he's the coach because I think he no, he no. actually did coaching. Yeah, no, Tom actually coached. <laughs> Mike Brown stood there. Uh huh. Look right, turn. Uh huh. His job was to call timeouts. Okay, okay. Well, so how do you feel about the curse? This is a curse, damn it. Well, the coach of the year curse is real. <laughs> Most of the time, when you win coach of the year, even without the MVP, you're right. gone within two years. Right. Uh, the the thing that I hearken. Harking back on, okay, is uh, well, what I'm going to hang my hat on at night with uh, Thibs uh -huh. is the fact that he runs good sets for one, right. but he also has talent. And when you have somebody like Derrick Rose, who's a humble superstar, unlike LeBron James, uh -huh. who's not an aging superstar like Steve Nash, uh -huh. Michael Jordan, uh -huh. uh, who's not a sexually promiscuous superstar <laughs> like Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> You have a good chance. I, I, I think the odds of Derrick Rose going out and all of a sudden becoming old next year uh -huh. or hating Thibodeau next year uh -huh. or catching AIDS next year are all HIV. extremely low. HIV. HIV, HIV are HIV. all extremely low. And okay. with modern medicine and cures, I just feel like he can play through it. He can play through it. Okay. <laughs> this takes us to the uh, Bulls Hawks. They start tonight. This is what Charles Barkley had to say on TNT about does do the Hawks have a chance to win I'd this like to series? hear this. No, absolutely not. This was a this is this goes back to just a great matchup for the Bulls. Orlando, Orlando they just had bad matchups with uh, the Hawks, but the Bulls are a different animal, and they better hope that Kurt Heinrich is all right. <laughs> and he's not. He's not. They're saying he's not playing the series at all. Well, I'll tell you what. Even if Kurt Heinrich was healthy, uh huh, ain't nothing that boy can do to stop Rose. Fast don't lie. Yeah. What does what does Stacey King say? Too big, too big, too fast, too, too strong. strong. <laughs> Did you not get the memo? <laughs> no. Uh, there's not there's not, not much hammer can do with, with two good hamstrings. What do you got? I like okay. Last in the last series, I said. The Bulls are going to have a little problem with the, with the Pacers. I thought they were going to play them tough. They did. They did get a game like I thought they'd get, but I knew it wasn't going to be an easy series, like blowout, blowout, blowout. It wasn't going to happen. I'm the exact opposite on this on this end. I think the Bulls are going to destroy the Atlanta Hawks. How many games? I want to say sweep. I'll give Atlanta because they do have athletes. Yeah. One game. I, that, One game. I, and I wholeheartedly agree with you. I would say a sweep as well just because – 
Indiana played such a disciplined style of basketball. Yeah, they yes. shared the ball. They moved the ball. Atlanta's the complete opposite. <laughs> Everything is isolation, one-on-one. Jamal Crawford with a deep jump shot as the shot clock expires. That plays right in everything Thibodeau wants And to that's do. the thing. That's the only reason I can see them winning a game, if they get hot. If they get hot. If they get hot, okay, I'll give you one. But I, I think Thibodeau will just he'll, – he'll take all that away. He'll take that away. This, this is if not- we get anything from Boozer, we'll sweep him. I'm, I'm just saying, look. This Atlanta Hawks team, people think I'm crazy. Well, the, the, the Pacers didn't, you know, were eight seed. They were thirty. They had a losing record. I don't give a damn. It's matchups. But by the end, of the, by the end of that, I would. Atlanta is not as hard a team to, to play against than the Pacers were. They but, were disciplined as hell. But also, if you look, and I, I know this might not mean something to some people, but if you look at that Pacers team, those are a bunch of guys that are scrappy, mm-hmm. overachievers, yep. guys that, for the most part, if you watch them, you say you have no business in the league. <laughs> AJ Price, Tyler Hainsborough. Josh McRoberts is a stiff. Dante Jones. Uh, Collison was a late first-round pick. But, I mean, Hibbert. These are guys that, for the most part, don't look the part of an NBA team. So, even if they got down, they were still a scrappy bunch. Yeah. The Hawks, on the other hand, all those guys have been paid. They have a reputation from not for not being hard workers, for being lazy. Mm-hmm. If you get up on the Hawks and you put a lead on the Hawks, they will crumble. And you will see them turn selfish, and you're going to see Crawford start chucking up shots. Joe Johnson wants no part of crunch time. <laughs> no part. <laughs> Josh Smith is going to start chucking up threes. So I, this is the perfect tune-up to where we can come out, get four games of practice, four or five games of practice, <laughs> bas- basically. A <laughs> little scrimmage. Was it intra or enter? Enter. Enter squad scrimmage. Okay. And then we get ready for the Miami Boston winner. Yeah, so I, I, like you said, four or five games, five games, absolutely tops. I don't see this going six. I've seen some people say seven. Hell no. This will be done and be done quickly. Uh, that, that, that's it. We'll be back. More music on the way. It's Mind of Med on WindyCDunderground.com. Your music, your station. Tony Loco, let's go. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, it's low, 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 low. 